Voicing. This is one of, if not the most important aspects in the regulation of the piano. Voicing addresses tonality, volume, and ring time. By ring time we mean sustain of each note. Loud notes, soft notes, and any note with a piercing volume or timbre will be evened out. Each reed should be centered evenly in between the pickup. In certain cases, when all else fails and a note is too soft, usually in the upper register, you can position the reed closer to one side of the pickup for more volume of the note. For notes that have a short ring time, remove the reed, clean it and the harp with a light emery paper until they shine. Check for any malformities on the solder tip. When we talk about voicing, we can customize the sound through harmonic frequencies. The reed screwed into the harp extend straight out and we centered them between the pickup. Now for harmonic EQ, this is subject to personal preference. Some like a more pure fundamental, mellow, muddy sound, and some prefer a more cutting sound, which introduces the second and third harmonic. The Wurlitzer is made with two harps, a treble and a bass harp. The interesting thing about this is it really opens the door to customizing your own sound, and it is always open for interpretation and improvement. The way to change the harmonic value of a note is by moving the pickup up or down next to the reed. As you do this, you will notice a dramatic change in tone. Always do this when the amp is off, unless you have a chopstick which is non-conductive and then you can make active adjustments without shorting the pickup to the reed. One aspect of voicing is dealing with the reeds and the pickups and the relationship to each other. Um, if you listen to the tonality, harmonic content, of your individual plant piano, um, you'll notice different changes as you go up the scale. The changes come from voicing. On this particular one, It's pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deregulate some uh, issues here so we can so you can hear some differences of a piano that's not voiced properly. So what I'll do is I'll turn it off and I'll I'll just make some some changes here in the pickups. I'll turn it back on and you can hear some changes. tone to them. There's nothing to them. Well, what happens in, in this scenario is that I move the pickups down. Now what happens is, is a lot of times over the years you'll get a piano and it's had a million different owners and people think they know what they're doing or they like to customize the sound and what happens is it just it gets really messed up over time. So what happens is you really want to go in there and customize your own sound. And by being able to tweak the pickups, you can change the harmonic content. Okay. So what I did is I pulled these back up to a, to a horizontal plane, even with the, with the reeds. Now we'll turn it back on and we'll listen to how that sounds comparatively. Now it's brought those notes right back up. Okay, another aspect is the reed in relationship to the pickup. Now they all sound decent now, but if I adjust this pickup and I move it just slightly out, out of spec, what it's going to sound like. Look how much louder that tone is. Now, this is one way
way of getting a louder um, response out of your notes. Um, the only problem with that is that it is closer to the pickup. Now it's resting like this on one side of the pickup, which you're going to get more volume out of, but you're also going to get more chance of dirt lodging in between this pickup um, and causing electrostatic connection, which could short out your amp and does quite often. So right now, this is, this is how it should look in the middle. But again, we just moved it closer, so now you have more of a, um, a, closer, a closer microphone, if you will, now. It's, it's like being closer to the mic. It's picking up more energy. So, in order to rectify that, what we do is, again, we go to the top, just like we were changing a reed or tuning it. We take our nut driver, and we move that reed closer to the center. Oops, that's the center. There's not much room to work inside of these pickups, so a good eye and a good feel is necessary. Okay, so let's brought it back down to the same tone, the even response as the rest of them. Pickups, they go up and they go down. And you can tune in, turn on your volume here this way. I mean your tone and your volume. And customize your own sound. Um, if you want a, a mellow sound, like right now I just push the, the pickups down. So now you have a nice mellow sound. Personally, I don't really particularly like this, but some people do. It's just soft. It's really nowhere, middle of the road. So what we'll do is we'll bring those back up. about even as a rule of thumb but again it's all subjective so there really is no rule of thumb it's how, how you like it to sound turn that on now if we wanted to make this more second, third harmonic, what we can, we can do is we can start moving these, these reeds to get more volume slightly closer to one side. Again, this is kind of like hot rodding your world, sir. This isn't, this isn't standard etiquette. <laughs> but I'm just doing this to show you what's possible. hitting the side of the pickup. That's what a pickup will sound like, a reed will sound if it's on the pickup. I'm sure a lot of people have, have heard this. second or third harmonic and we're getting away from the fundamental. 
And again, this is only one aspect of voicing to achieve the tonality you want. Another aspect is working with the cap stands and the adjustment of the let off. This is the what you call the top work. And again, there's two harps. There's a treble harp and a bass harp. And you can customize those any way you want. Basically, when you're voicing a piano, you want to play it and listen to it. Play the songs in your repertoire, play the songs that you like. Go up and down the scale and find notes that offend you, whether it be too soft, too harsh, too raspy, not the right harmonic content, if it's too mellow, all fundamental and you want more bite out of it. Search for that upper harmonic by tweaking the, by tweaking the pickup and the reed position within the pickup. Pushing these down, and one, one movement by pushing this down to, to rectify this reed will, in, in essence, affect the next reed. So every move, every action has a reaction to another reed. So you have to take that into consideration when voicing and find your happy medium between reeds and notes. Um, and the other part of voicing, what we talked about in tuning, was the, the filing of the harp and the reed. If you have a dirty reed or a harp, you want to keep all foreign matter away from the reeds and the harp. This is very important for the sustain of a note. Like this, this reed is, it works. And you won't notice it on staccato hits, but Listen to the time length. One Mississippi, two. It's done in one second, as opposed to Mississippi, two, Mississippi, three, Mississippi, four, Mississippi, five. It, it goes out on five. A really good note will last up to seven seconds, seven, eight seconds. Average is around five. So that's out in about three and a half. So you can kind of gauge on which notes have a, a bad sustain or not. The problem with that these days is reeds being the price they are and, the, and they're really hard to find and they don't make them anymore. It's, it's rare, except for vintage vibe. But <laughs> um, you can't really just go changing out reeds these days like you used to in the old days. It's just too costly. Um, so if it's not that offending, you might, you might as well just leave it. But that one's kind of, that's kind of really short, so let's see. Pick this read up a little bit. See if there's any reason why that is dying out so fast. Yeah. Um, a lot of times in the middle octave, as you know, it's the most... Um, where the most action is, is used, the reeds in this action die out the quickest. So these are the ones that are always being replaced, 25 through 45, uh, especially in the 28 to 37 range, which is here. Um, so it's up to you whether you want to shell out the bucks for the reeds to keep your piano pristine and, and working or you want to deal with what you have and try voicing it and working it as best as you can and wait for that reed to eventually die. But um, basically that's, that's what you're looking at for voicing. You're going to deal with the pickups, raising them and lowering them. You're going to deal with the reed in a side to side position in the pick in, inside the pickup. Optimally you want to be right in the center. Clean the reeds, clean the, uh, the, the harp, the top of the harp. And uh, that's pretty much it for the top. And um, the second part of voicing is, is in the action regulation work, which is equally as important. So we'll get to that next.